the Duraclip is unique in a way because it has multiple features that I prefer over the regular Endoclips. Uh, one of it is the rotatability. It has a very nice one-to-one -one rotation. The other benefit is that this rotatability is maintained even over an elevator of a duodenoscope. So during an ERCP, this clip is able to come out very smoothly over an elevator and in spite of engaging the elevator, the clip is able to rotate into position. The other nice feature is of course the short tail. So in tight situations like during an ERCP or in the upper esophagus at the cricopharyngeus where we're working on the zenkers, having the short tail is very advantageous because it doesn't require a lot of real estate and it's able to be deployed very easily. In the zenkers especially, uh, the, the patient is usually intubated, so there is an endotracheal tube involved and there is an orogastric tube that goes down the esophagus lumen. So between these two tubes is the endoscope and the clip is able to come out in that tight space, rotate into position and be easily deployed. Another common area I've used it is after a Zenker septotomy. And after this septum is incised, there's usually a defect that requires closure. Again, primarily for hemostasis as well in that case, or just for the defect closure. So the Duroclip is beneficial for the patients because one, as I mentioned earlier with the Zenkers, when we do a Zenker septotomy, the defect of the septotomy is clipped close with the Duroclip. And because of the short tail, the clip doesn't poke up into the upper esophageal sphincter. So compared to the other clips which have a longer tail, patients sometimes have a feeling of a foreign body sensation in the back of the throat, which results in painful swallowing as well as discomfort. And the Duraclip is able to avoid that because of the short tail in a tight situation. I do a lot of endoscopic xanthrus septotomies and these patients are very symptomatic because they have bad dysphagia as a result of the zankers and we're able to endoscopically fix this. So these patients in the past used to have major surgeries or they would have a rigid endoscopic treatment by ENT where they would have a rigid diverticuloscope to be able to incise this. So now we're able to do this with a flexible endoscopic therapy. But after we do the septotomy, there's usually a defect that requires closure. So I had a patient who had a very large Zenkers pouch, and the Zenkers was about six to seven centimeters wide. This was an elderly patient who was in her late 80s and was at an outside hospital, and over there, they did not have the same facilities. And sadly to say, she was actually being considered for hospice just for something so easily treatable. When the case was discussed, I had the patient transferred over to our hospital, and we performed a flexible endoscopic incisional therapy of her Zenkers pouch. Given the size of the Zenkers, obviously there was a big defect that was created as a result of breaking down the septum with endoscopic incisional therapy. So at the end of it, in order to prevent a perforation or having a delayed bleeding, I closed the defect using just two Duraclips. So I was able to bring the clip out in a very tight space. These patients, when they have the Zenkers treatments, they have an endotracheal tube, which is to protect their airway. They also have an orogastric tube, which is to delineate the esophagus lumen from the Zenkers pouch. So the real estate in the back of the throat is very tight. The Duroclip is able to come out in this tight space. Given the small jaw, it is able to open easily and be able to rotate in this tight space and close the defect. So just with the two Duraclips, I was able to close the defect and the patient recovered very uneventfully. So this elderly patient who was almost going to be on hospice just because she was not able to eat and swallow, now was able to be started on a soft diet the very next day and was discharged home in two days and now is able to eat and drink and was able to gain her weight back just because of our endoscopic treatment. So my support staff, I did ask them specifically about the Duraclip in regards to its use. And they feel that it's much easier to use this clip as compared to the other normal endoclips that we use. One, it's very easily to pass the clip through the scope channel. There is no resistance because there is no covering sheath on top of it. So it saves procedure time because they don't have to push the clip out of the sheath and get it in position. Mm -hmm. The other thing is they're able to rotate it one to one. So when I ask them to move the clip into position, they're able to easily rotate it and be in sync with me as to where I want the clip. In regards to deployment, it's a one-click deployment system, which is again very easy, and they get a tactile feedback of the deployment, and they're able to easily take the sheath out without any problems.